Hello all. Well, today it's nice and warm. It feels very spring-like or early summer. The smell in the air is of dry grass and uh, really smells good. But we'll go do a video right now. Right over here. So I know, know a lot of this is in the news, but I thought I'd bring it up anyway. Heat wave scorches India's wheat crop. The early record heat wave has reduced wheat yields by 20 to 50 percent. India's exports only a small fraction of its normal harvest. Climate change has made India's heat waves hotter since 1901, and they're also earlier. They get their heat wave, and then they get their monsoon, which cools it down. But uh, this year it came up uh, with record heat. India's vulnerability to extreme heat increased by 15% from 1990 to 2019. India is expected to get 25% less wheat this year. Okay, let's look at the world's wheat yields. Europe, about 139 million metric tons. China, 136, 946 metric tons. India, 109, 509 million metric tons. Russia, 75, 159 million metric tons. The U.S. 44 million 790 million metric tons. Now these numbers are all over the board when you look them up. So just take it with a grain of salt that it's around there and that the yields vary from year to year. And so depending on what year you look at it depends on what what the numbers are. And another thing is that India has a terrible habit of piling up garbage right in their cities and right next to schools and unfortunately this heat wave has caused many of these garbage piles to catch fire and uh, the pollution from the air and all is just awful but it's not the only bad news around the planet because of climate change person has tested positive for H5 bird flu in the U.S. as reported by Colorado and confirmed by the CDC. The person had direct exposure to poultry. I've told you guys a lot of times we should really not be eating any kind of uh, poultry at all. Just stay away from it. Don't touch it. Don't be around it. The patient reported fatigue for a few days and has since recovered. Poultry gets H5N1 flu, which is then passed on to humans, apparently, or just starting to pass on to humans. H5N1 has a, has a kill rate of over 50% in birds. People who have job-related exposure to infected birds are at higher risk of infections, says the CDC. H5N1 started in 2021. a new type of disease that we can uh, look forward to. As soon as COVID kind of fades away a little bit, this uh, new bird flu starts to come up. And that's what's going to happen more and more as we get warmer and warmer planet. There'll be more and more variants of different types of, of uh, sickness that humans will have to watch out for. Now, if this variant turns out to be as deadly to humans as it is to birds, we will be in severe lockdown. But as of now, the CDC is saying we're, we're pretty good, we're okay right now. But keep your exposure to, to any kind of birds to an absolute minimum or not at all. Just, just keep it away, keep away from any kind of fowl. Okay, on this absolutely beautiful, sunny day here in San Francisco, California, we're going to go up this way and do the video. But I appreciate all you guys' comments on the last video and this video. I appreciate all your thumbs up, your thumbs down, and the new subscribers. And until next time.